I'm with World War Supply, and today we're going to show you how to put the helmet net on your USM1 steel pot. Uh, the helmet net's item 3083 on our website. First thing you want to do is unroll it and gently just stretch it a little bit. You're not trying to tear it apart. You're not trying to break it. These are all hand-woven, all hand-tied with string, so you don't want to overdo it. You just kind of want to get it into shape a little bit. Turn your steel pot over. Take your liner out. You're not going to need that for a little bit. My personal preference is always having the uh, drawstring toward the back, but that's all personal preference. So what you want to do is just select roughly in the middle. I go about three squares up from the bottom. You want to weave this through nicely being careful not to catch on here and rip If you do tear it, it's not a big deal. These got tore during the war, and most of them that we have that are originals, it's very rare not to have significant tears in it because, guys, the last thing they cared about looking like during a war was one of the designer soldiers with all their equipment matching and helmet squares perfect, etc. So, again, roughly in the middle, about three up is what I go, and it can be two, it can be four or five, whatever works for you, however you think is best. There's no right or wrong way on it. This is just the way that we do it, and it's all approximate. And I realize that this is a post-war helmet, just the one that we have handy right here. Again, watching the metal parts so you're not tearing it as you're stretching it over but they're fairly resilient you just don't want to catch on anything sharp that may be on your particular chin strap Right, we got it around and then I just like to draw that in a little bit and start to work this up. So you're just kind of working it up and we had these cut a little on the generous side so that they fit nicely. Try to draw it. Sometimes the string will get uh, stuck in here where you've got to pull it through maybe from there. But pull it nice, check the front, make sure it's fitting good. You don't have any spots that you need to draw tighter. And just pull it tight make sure that your bales are out now you can tie it off right here if you want I don't tie the ones off that we send I leave you to do that but you can just put your knot there again you're gonna want some stretch when this goes in it's the main reason we don't tie it off I'm holding this with my fingers as I come out sinking the liner in from back to front letting a little tension off as the liner goes down and it goes there you are. Looks like it's a pretty good fit. You're going to have knots. Again, these are all hand tied with string, and just as the originals were. There, liners on. Everything looks good. <laughs> 